Summer was over. It passed by so quickly, I barely grabbed a sample of what it was like to spend summer here in the north. This strange feeling of having been there, exploring, discovering, yet having been more of an audience member than an actor. Or having been an actor in the wrong scene. My mind was split between handling the move, the registration, the visits, and just being here as you only get one first summer to experience. We ended the summer by having my mom over. And then Yuan's parents. And just like that, we were at the end of September. The landscapes started changing. The mornings got chilly. And nature entered in a new phase. I was alone at home with the dogs, Yuan being gone for a month for work. So what could be better than packing a backpack and going for a hike with the loves? Starting the ascent. It's gonna be a bit long. No, I think it's maybe a kilometer and a half. And then it's a bit flatter, so we'll see how it goes. Look at those beauties. We made it to the first flat ground. I am red as a tomato and sweating, <laughs> but it feels good. Getting lost out there is the best way to meet myself in a way that only nature can help me achieve. not testing the waterproofness of my shoes today. I'm gonna go barefoot through the river um, and it's gonna be fine. This is so cold! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> Second try. Third try, further up. I probably spent over 45 minutes trying to cross this not so big river as there always was a point where it was getting too deep for a few meters. It's me again. 
Well, I found a super cute rock that I'm going to take home. That's a success. But I still haven't found where I could cross the river without risking too much <laughs> getting into the water. Uh, oh, this is a failure. <laughs> I made it to the other side. <laughs> My feet are hurting so much and I'm freezing. Before I explain what triggered these tears, I'd like to clarify some points on the situation. We were out of the mandatory dogs on leash season. Nana was within leash distance anyway, and everything happened so fast. The moment I realized what was happening, it was already too late. So please hold yourself back from posting any moralistic comments on what was already a painful experience. So I heard this high-pitched scream, and when I turned around, I saw Nana making this poor lemming fly into the air. I stopped the dogs before they could do anything else, but the poor thing was down with half of its body paralyzed. At first I wasn't sure he was still alive, but he eventually crawled back to its lair before I had the time to gather my courage to put an end to his suffering. It kind of tinged the rest of the hike with a shadow that I struggled detaching myself from, being once again thrown around in the highs and lows of my fecal emotions. I tried going into the water, but it was just not my day, and I was completely incapable of diving in, as I was already really cold and it was windy. I kind of feel that everything that I did today is just not good enough. Days like this. Oh. Get going. As I walked towards home, I also walked away from my sadness and frustration of the day. Having such stillness and space around me when being here in nature helps me balance my thick inner life. This calmness is really what I was missing back in Switzerland and it makes everything much easier now. My 18-year-old self will probably have killed me for saying that, but I'm kind of happy to be back on the right path, for today at least. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching and for being here with me in this adventure. We hope to see you in the next one.